TJ from Ashley Furniture. So what I'm going to demonstrate is the difference between a liquid polymer, which is a polyester fabric that has a wet and dye process, versus our new Nuvella fabric, which is a solution dye process. What the difference of this is, is the fact that when you do your traditional synthetic fibers, when you make a synthetic fiber, what you're doing is you're taking a molten uh, polymer, okay, which looks like a big glue, basically it looks like a, a, a lot of, like a glue gel. And what, it, what happens is you take that, that gel and it's extracted or extruded through a process where it looks like a shower head. So imagine a shower head and you're forcing that gel through that shower head and have these long strands. Okay, so that's the fiber that comes out, that's the finished product. The thing is with that fiber, it is unfinished, it has no coloring to it. So what happens is when you create that and then when you do the fiber itself, it goes through a wet dye process where you dip the fiber, the fabric, into a dot and bring it out. Which you still get a nice coloring to it, but it's not dyed all the way through, I guess you might say. Okay. The other disadvantage of that is, is with that, that dye, that leftover dye, which is a water base, it's also you have to you have to dispose of that, which is not eco friendly. Right. Okay. So that's the process, the normal traditional process when we make a synthetic fiber. With this solution dye process, is what we're doing is we're taking that molten polymer. Okay. Instead of putting it through that extrusion process through that shower head, what we're first doing is we're putting the dye or the coloring into that polymer first and then it goes through that extraction process. The thing about that, the advantage of that is, is that what happens is that, that color becomes the fabric that's all in there together. So you don't have to have that wet dye process. So it's eco-friendly where you're not dumping this, this water-based dye or you know, chemicals into the environment. So it's eco-friendly. The other advantage of that is, is that it's gonna cause that fabric, it's gonna be part of the fabric. That color is that more, it's, it's the same as you would think like a carrot. So if you have abrasiveness and you're, if it's just getting, the fabric's getting worn down, the traditional way would be like a radish where you have the coloring on the outside, but then on the inside, it's gonna go back to that unfinished process when you, before you did the wet dye. Okay, so that's the normal. With the solution dye, what happens is, is that when you go through that period of when it's just continually to get worn down and abrasive, that's where you get the color all the way through like a carrot. So that's the best way. So what I would demonstrate is the advantage of this solution dye. And to kind of go back, what's going to be a great opportunity about this is, is this is for one, it's the same process, the same material you've seen with like carpeting and homes. So high traffic areas, pets, dogs, uh, kids, you know, this is going to be perfect for the home, for the customer. If they want to buy a $3.99 sofa, they know that they can take this home with a house full of kids. It's easy to clean. So I'm going to demonstrate how you can clean this without any, you know, uh, wear and tear to the fabric itself. So I'll just demonstrate with uh, some mustard. Yeah, well, too much. So, so you get mustard in there, you know, you spill it, whatever else. Now, when you deal with a microfiber, you know, you can get a lot of that where you can get a water base and you can somewhat clean it up. But what happens here is that you get a lot of this, these, these oils and everything, it's still into the fabric. And you, if you try to brush it out, it will, it will uh, basically uh, roughen up that fabric. Maybe one time you might be able to do it, but over and over, that fabric will fray. So here what you have is a process where if you just add water, I'm just going to dip it in here, just an example. Obviously, it's being a little different. So you get it wet. It's a lot of soap, but oh well. See, the great thing about it is the scrubbing process. When you can use a brush, and you can also use uh, diluted bleach as well, and it's not going to fade the fabric like you would see here. So if you're able to scrub this, and so anytime we do a chenille or if we do a corduroy, we have that same process. 
Typically, when you scrub it like that, you're gonna you're gonna basically uh, brush off the thistles on the needle. So here, so if you're able to just scrub it through. Now, obviously, I put too much soap and water on it, but at least to give you an idea. Oops. is the fact that not only just the mustard's gone, but when you scrub it again, there's no wear and tear on the fibers itself. So that's the solution, or the, the, the advantage of having a solution dyed material is for the family friendly home. So this is our future of the performance map. Perfect.